Hey there, sign of Taurus. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the weekly, February 1st through the 7th. Um, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate all the interaction and support. If you feel like donating to this channel or want a private reading, look in the description box below and it will tell you how. Um, we're going to start by calling in Divine White Light to surround us as we do this reading. Surround you as you watch the reading, calling in towards his angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to give us messages that are for the greater good only sign of Taurus, please. February 7th through 7th, sorry, February 1st through February 7th, 2021. All right, let's get a few Oracle cards and then the tarot and we'll be ready. I think this is shuffled plenty. We'll get a couple of these. This is the archetype deck. The self and the shapeshifter. Hmm. So something is changing in who you are or your perception of who you think you are. Um, the self as defined by this book, at least, this self is about the soul. It's about the you, that spirit form that's before the body that's had several lifetimes. And, you know, there, there is a great change um, happening right now. Different, like, levels of energy, th things like that. So, I would think that there would be a change in how we're viewing ourselves and maybe realizing how divine we are. The shapeshifter is all about the energy of things needing to change. Just quite simply, things being outdated, things needing to change. All right, so, so what is changing in you? What do you feel like is changing in you? And are you shifting for the times? Do you feel like you are or maybe you aren't and you need to be? all up to you and your perception. This is the spellcasting deck. You've got a really great card from it already. So we're gonna stop at that empowerment. So trust, trust this process, trust yourself. Empowerment, it is safe for you to be powerful. The empowerment card is something that you're doing that is ultimately empowering you. And maybe it's this change maybe it's this change that's going to empower you something like that very powerful something unknown to this power that's coming to you something unknown with the moon this is the wisdom from the oracle deck let's see what it has oh wow treasure island nice so the empowerment that you're going through is going to lead you to your treasure island your abundance your coins, um, anything that you call abundance, how you view abundance, things are changing. This might be changing with you know within yourself too, uh, going from maybe scarcity or lack vibration to abundance, to calling in abundance for yourself. This is the guardian angel cards. We're just going to keep on going, and then we're going to use the tarot. So, it is safe to be powerful, and it's safe to get your treasure island on, <laughs> get your money on. Angel of New Beginnings. Wow, Taurus. So, this is coming in. This is, this is wealth coming in. This is prosperity coming in, giving you a new beginning, empowering you, shape-shifting your world. Look forward to shape-shifting your world. All right, this is the energy deck. So many want to pop out because this deck is so old. All right, so there could be some anxiety on this new beginning because you are a Taurus. You are an earth sign after all. There could be some anxiety, but the angel of love is out here to say, don't be anxious about this new start. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful thing for you. All right, let's get the tarot. Now we're going to see what the tarot has to say for you, Taurus. So 
something deception some deception about a new beginning maybe authority something with authority Ooh, nice bottom of the deck is a victory card and the card of clarity, truth, the ace of swords. So we started off with some deception. Maybe that's why this there's anxiety here. Maybe you thought you were going to have a new beginning and it just ended up, something ended up deceiving you. You could have been dealing with the people around you, um, with people who have stolen things. So like thieving, that can be around you. On shapeshifter and anxiety, we have the hermit. So that's what's changing. Um, what's changing is what you're going to look inside to find out. So you look inside you to get enlightened. Maybe on why we have such anxiety. Maybe because of something in the past that let us down. And that might be why we're afraid of this new beginning. Now the world over empowerment and treasure island is beautiful. Because that is our new happy chapter in life something that's gone full circle. Um, the world is all about, also, it is about assured success. So in something that you've been wanting, that you've been hoping for, a new, a new start, and it involves your treasure island. King of Swords. So we really might be dealing with like an authority matter, like a matter of the authorities, or it might be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be that, Taurus. It could be that. Um, Somebody that is just very, you know, tw wanting the truth really at all costs, doesn't take any BS, knows um, how to get the truth from people, how to be disciplined, doesn't really use as much heart as you would want. But then we have your seven of pentacles. And the way that I'm looking at this is not contemplating whether or not you should have done something, but... I'm looking at, at it as this is your field and this is your harvest coming in. You've sown a lot of seeds. You've put in a lot of effort. So now you're just happily watching as your crops grow. And the angel of love, oh, that's sweet. Angel of love coming in to make your transitions a little bit easier on you. So I see the anxiety, but we're going to get out of this once we look at that gold egg. That's what he's looking at, the gold egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. That's that world card flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. The self, crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Definitely, he has the crown, right? And quill, get back to the basics. Get back to the basics. February, if somebody needs to date. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. Well, sometimes that can be ourself too. So we, we have to just take this as a, as a warning instead of getting real, real upset about it. And maybe that's where the anxiety is coming from. But look, we have beetle, good fortune. We have all good things coming to you. I wouldn't worry about this stuff too much. I think that's an indicating that February things will be, it will be blown over. So we won't have those problems anymore. All right. Thank you, Taurus. Um, sending you much love and light. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.